we grow up seeing a lot of people who have perfect features, a perfect body. Because she looks that beautiful, she looks that fair, she's got perfect features. We consider them to be actors and actresses. So mm-hmm. that's how I was. I grew up seeing uh, Trisha and uh, Simran and all of them. They had perfect figure, they had great body. But then there was one point at which I didn't know whether I wanted to become an actor. But there, uh, I always had this insecurity when I was in Georgia doing medicine. So I was with these Georgians, people who were very fair and then they didn't have pimples, but I had all of this. And I didn't know whether I could accept this or accept myself for who I was. She begins her speech by discussing societal beauty standards. She uses the present perfect tense, we have grown up, which is used for actions that started in the past and continue to the present. This tense is formed by using have, has, plus the past participle of the verb. For example, I've studied English for five years. And then I come back to India and I'm so happy that Alphonse picked me for Premum. I was so nervous the day the movie got released. I was wondering what if people abroad are going to be there teasing me, what are Raga is going to say? They're obviously going to say, I don't look like Simran, I don't look like Trisha. So this is going to be bad news for me. And then I ended up seeing tweets after I went back to Georgia. People were actually happy seeing someone in their own skin. And that made me feel so confident about myself. And then I wondered, okay, maybe that is all it is. Maybe if there's somebody up there, a lot of people will feel very happy about how they look. So that is how I felt when I got into the industry. She shares her personal experiences and insecurities. She uses the past simple tense, I had, which is used for completed actions in the past. The past simple is formed by using the past tense of the verb. For example, I had breakfast at 7 a.m. I'm blessed that I worked with directors who liked me in my own skin and they did have me put on makeup before, say, pre-shoot. But then they saw that it was not the real me and I couldn't emote as much as I did without makeup, so they asked me to take her off. She uses the phrase, I ended up, which is a way to talk about the result of an action or a series of events. It's useful for telling stories about our past. For example, I ended up missing the bus because I woke up late. Generally look at the whole population and we think that there are a few people who are mocking at people of this color but honestly speaking when I was in school and college I grew up with friends who would look at a girl who had a darker boyfriend and say that you can actually do better you're way out of his league Mm -hmm. and when you see a guy with a girl who's a little darker you end up saying I think there's something else this guy is what does what does he see in this girl so we end up saying such things and it's just nobody no person who is there trying to make you feel bad it's just us. We must have at some point of time passed that comment and right now it's coming back to us. It's just a boomerang. Here, sir, if I finish my work on time. So when we start putting out positive uh, views about how we feel about others instead of pointing. And another thing is social media. Because you have this curtain of anonymity, you end up writing whatever you want. You just say something when you're not in a very good mood. But the problem is it affects someone else somewhere else. She uses the phrase, it's just a boomerang, which is a metaphor for the idea that our actions or words can come back to affect us. Metaphors are figures of speech that describe an object or action in a way that isn't literally true, but helps explain an idea or make a comparison. So you have that power to actually create a change. Come on, I just told you that I felt insecure. I didn't see any of you. But Come on, few of you from here would have said something sweet about me, right? When the film released. So I believed that and I took it and that's how I felt good. So I think it's just about, it's nobody else. It's not like the world is trying to bring you down. You were there and it can even be us. We were there at a very naive period, at a very bad period where we said some wrong things, but it's time we change. We know that it is possible for us to sin, but then it's important for us to consider or respect others' feelings and accept them for who they are. Just look at their character and just fall in love. That is all. Here she uses the phrase, it's time we change, which is a way to express urgency or necessity for a change. This is a good example of using modal verbs for giving advice. For example, it's time you start studying for your exams. I'm 27 years old and I haven't come across even one woman who hasn't been harassed. And that's a very sad thing, but fortunately... Everybody walks around putting on a smile and as if nothing even happened. It shows that we're much more stronger and we think of this body as an instrument. But that does not mean that we shouldn't share our experience with another person for two reasons. 
She begins her second speech by stating a fact about herself and uses the phrase, I haven't come across, which is a way to talk about the lack of experience or encounter with something or someone. For example, I haven't come across anyone who likes this movie. She uses the present perfect tense, haven't, which is used to connect the past and the present and to emphasize the duration or completion of an action. One is that you don't want the offender or the perpetrator to do this to another person and you just want people around to be aware of it. Most of the time it's from our team, by our relatives or someone whom we know. So it's a sad thing again. And secondly, by sharing this experience with another person whom you trust or whom you love, say mom, dad, friend, um, your uh, spouse, anyone, you end up feeling a little bit liberated, a little bit better, I hope, and not as traumatic as you did. She shares her...